I'm Kendall. I'm Adam. I'm Josh. And I'm Nathan, and we're the creators of Bright Hand Band. The city of Evansville has become widely industrialized and urbanized with 163,000 total jobs and a strong job growth rate of 2% yearly. This leaves Evansville with an unemployment rate of 3.5%, a rate that is well below the national rate of 3.9%. With Evansville's strong job economy, it should be easy for everyone to get a job, but unfortunately there are still 427 homeless people, a population that is stagnant from the previous year. In an attempt to reduce the homeless population, the Workforce Development Service, called Work One, provides many tools such as job search assistance, career planning, and transportation assistance. The transportation assistance provides rides to and from work, and the rides provided by Work One expire after 90 days. Bounded bus routes, expensive cab rides, and stolen bikes make it extremely difficult for the homeless population to rely on Evansville's lacking public transportation system. Currently, Evansville is behind in providing efficient yet cost-effective methods of transportation. A few weeks ago, I had the pleasure of speaking with Kenny, a homeless individual from Evansville, Indiana, under the care of United Caring Services, a shelter in Evansville. He explained to me that he had been homeless since 2007. After his stepbrother passed away, he could no longer afford the uptake and care of the trailer they were currently living in. He then turned to the streets until finding his way in United Caring Services. He explained that finding reliable transportation was extremely difficult, so finding a job and pursuing a career was just unnecessary. So we created Right Hand Van, a reliable source of transportation that seats up to 15 passengers. People are eligible for our service after they have exhausted their 90-day ride to work for. These individuals can apply for Right Hand Van once they are 60 days into the Work One program. This gives Right Hand Van roughly a month to plan and accommodate for its incoming passengers. According to Aurora, a nonprofit organization in Evansville, Indiana, that does a yearly census on the homeless population, said there are roughly 300 individuals seeking or willing to seek employment. <coughs> right Hand Van will pick up its passengers from the four main shelters located in downtown Evansville. They'll make three round trips a day, hitting first, second, and third shifts. They'll hit Right Hand Van will go to large manufacturing employers in the area of Toyota, Boots, Industries, and Ameriqual. When looking at Right Hand Van compared to all other transportation systems in Evansville, um, we excel. Right Hand Van uh, only takes 5 to 10 percent of the salary, just as Work One does. Uh, taxis cost about eight grand a year um, to and from work uh, during the week. That is based off of about a 10 mile uh, trip. Um, then city buses cost just over $500 per year. Uh, yes, that cost is lower than um, most of the other transportation systems, but the, uh, but the employees do not make it to work on time uh, as the employers are complaining that they either have to show up extremely early for their shifts or they show up late because the bus does not run on certain times. While right-hand van shows up before and after shifts uh, at specific times that will get them to and from work on time. Uh, taxis go 24-7, but as I said, they are extremely expensive uh, to take to and from work every day. Uh, and work, work one only goes for 90 days, uh, while we will take them until they are able to uh, afford a car. And right-hand van goes outside city limits and up the North 41 corridor, uh, while all other transportation systems don't. Uh, so we add value to the homeless shelters, as it will be freeing up about 20 beds per year. Um, the employers we will be uh, saving them about five thousand dollars per employee, and Evansville we will be um, reducing the homeless population and um, making this city just as beautiful as it is. Our value proposition is for the homeless population in Evansville. Right Hand Van provides transportation from the shelters to work and back. Unlike public transportation, Right Hand Van caters to specific work shifts and operates outside city limits. And I'm going to talk about our business model. Uh, our key partners in this business endeavor are four shelters in downtown Evansville, the Evansville Rescue Mission, uh, Ozanam Family Shelter, United Caring Services, and Ruth's House, which is operated by UCS. Uh, the shelters are also a key resource for us. They provide us with passengers that want and need our uh, service. <coughs> uh, they're also one of our primary users, uh, since we're <coughs> creating value for them by getting people out of the shelter and hopefully uh, to overcome their homelessness for good. 
Uh, another one of our groups and key partners is the employers, uh, located at North 41. Kendall talked about them earlier, Toyota, Ameriqual. <coughs> uh, another one of our key partners is uh, Ron Romay. He was generous enough to donate our uh, initial van for us. He also gave us an idea for an extra revenue stream and how to expand our service by offering non-emergency medical transportation for senior citizens, which he told us there's major demand for that. And there's roughly 30,000 uh, senior citizens in Evansville that could all possibly need rides. Uh, our key activities, uh, punctual transportation. We have to be able to get our people to and from work on time, to and from their uh, doctor's appointments, from their nursing homes on time, uh, or else everything we're doing is just nothing's going to work. Another key activity is applying for grants. Uh, like all nonprofits, we'll seek uh, routine funding through grant applications. Uh, because of the services that we offer, uh, we qualify for many different grants through the Federal Department of Transportation. <clears throat> Another key activity is networking. Our end users are pretty low tech, and so most networking will be done in person or over the phone between our drivers, our office, uh, the employers, and uh, nursing homes and shelters. Uh, our value propositions, our first two are safety and reliability. We intend to safely and reliably transport our passengers to and from their job or to and from the nursing home and to the doctor's appointments. And we will offer our passengers peace of mind by, uh, they'll have a way to get to work after they've exhausted their rides through work one. And we're gonna give them up to another nine, another nine months, uh, which will hopefully give them time to be able to save up and get their own vehicles so they can keep their job for good. And uh, another value proposition is uh, reduce employee turnover for our employers. Uh, it costs quite a bit to train new employees, and so we'll offer them peace of mind by uh, they'll know that people are going to be able to keep showing up, and so they won't have to spend all that money uh, hiring new new employees. So when you look at our uh, six to twelve month startup costs, our van, which Adam said, well, our first van will be donated by uh, Ron Romain. Uh, but every van that we purchase after that will be about $6,000. Uh, our work phone that we will be purchasing so that our clients can um, reach us will cost about $300. Our payroll for drivers and uh, all of the management will be about $50,000. Uh, our gas and maintenance for the vans will be $12,000 and our contract and legal agreements will be $800. Uh, when you look at our benefits, we will be reducing the employees' uh, turnover costs um, so it'll be about $5,000 per employee, and since we take 15 employees per van, it'll be about $75,000 a year. Uh, we will be able to apply for the Enhanced Mobility of Seniors and Individuals with Disabilities grant, uh, which will give us about $50,000. Uh, Small Business Transportation Resource Center grant uh, is also another grant that we can apply for that will give us under $38,000. Um, and lastly, a benefit that does not have a cost or a price on it is just the quality of life that we uh, can bring the homeless that are using our, uh, our uh, service. So, Given the opportunity, a right-hand van can help decrease the homeless population and help drive Evansville's strong job economy. Thank you. Woo